Hi guys, I'm Delaney here from Warm Glass Gallery and Studios. And today we're going to be doing monoprinting with leaves. And I have a little helper, Jody Danner Walker. Okay, Delaney, I was thinking the best thing we could do would be to make a vase. Yeah. And since we put flowers in a vase, it'd be fun to have leaves on the vase, right? Mm -hmm. Well, kind of like fall. Kind of like fall. Well, monoprinting, the first monoprints were hand prints and feet prints, but I didn't think we'd want you standing on the table, putting your feet on the glass. So this is the next best <laughs> thing. What do you think? I think so. Okay. And we're going to be doing the monoprint with our sunshine enamels. Mm -hmm. And we've decided to use uh, mandarin and we've mixed our own orange and then we're using poppy. So the mandarin and the poppy we've mixed together to get create orange and so these are what the colors will look like when they're fired so it's always good to keep in mind what your color is going to look like when they're finished yep. and we thought those colors would be really pretty with the lavender glass that we chose mm -hmm. now we made a blank yesterday that's lavender on top and a clear piece on the bottom and um so we thought these colors would be perfect with the, the lavender color yes. don't you think I think so. Okay. So now the things we need to get started, what do we need? We need the blank. Mm -hmm. We need the leaves, mm -hmm. right? We needed sponges. Sponge. We need tweezers. tweezers. And then we need we our need sunshine enamels. Sunshine enamels. And then we needed um, some sort paper. of tracing paper or wax paper would work. Um, and that's pretty much what we need. Oh, we needed a piece of glass so we can put it on there. And so. maybe a wet paper towel. Wet paper towel is always useful. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, in case nobody knows what a wet paper towel looks like. Okay, so that's <laughs> what we'll need to get started. So, how did you know what leaves to pick? That's a good question. See, because not every leaf looks good as a print. So, the first thing we look for is the shape. So we wanna have an interesting shape of the leaf, right? So these ferns and the maple leaves have an interesting shape. And then the other thing we're looking at is the veins. So we wanna have like veins, so it makes it more interesting. Yes, okay. definitely. Now if you'd done something else, like you could do lace, or you could do, you know, different other things, fruit. You just wanna look for, it's gotta have an interesting shape to begin with. And so then, look like a better and way cool. Right, it sort of looked much way cooler for sure. And then the, what we did is after we picked our leaves, you can either decide to use them um, fresh, mm -hmm. okay, and they're very flexible fresh, or you can put them in a book between uh, paper towel, right, and then put them in a book and wait to a couple of days them? to flatten them so they're totally flat instead of maybe like. But you, know, you don't want to over. Smush dry them, them and dry them, or then they'll just crumble. Yeah, crumble. They crumble and when they you go to use won't, them. And you won't like have so, like it won't work. They won't be flexible. Yeah, so we won't be able to use them. So, exactly. Okay, so we found some. So, Delaney, you and I already laid out our beautiful piece. So, um, I suggest that if you're using something like this, it's really nice to already have it kind of laid out so you know what you're going to be doing. Yeah. Um, so, do you want to start with the maple leaf? Sure. All right, so take one. so the first thing we're going to do is flip it over and we're going to work on the back because the veins are stronger on the mm -hmm. back. So that's what we want to print is the back. So go ahead and flip that over and put it on your piece of glass over here. And let's pick, pick some colors. We're using you can use a brayer, like a, a roller, a brayer, but, but we, we're going to use the sponges yes because they're much more fun i think and also you can kind of blend the colors exactly you can blend the colors mm -hmm, perfect so the colors we're gonna just the sponge i just want to show you a technique the sponge we don't want to push down on our paint and suck all that paint up in our sponge because then it's a waste of paint so what we just typically do is we tap 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 the sponge in the paint and then you can see that the sponge has got paint all over it like that. And like you can take it to the side and make sure you've got paint. Okay. And then you just tap, tap, tap. And I'll just start it. And then you're going to go from there. Okay. So, all right. Now I'll hold it. You go ahead. Can you hold it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. So then the first one we're going to do is going to be red and yellow and orange. 
Okay, I'll switch with you. There you go. It's fine. No, yeah, just maybe I'll just tap, 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 tap. Okay. Finger. Okay. And there's some yellow for you. It's okay if the front gets paint on it, it doesn't matter. Kind of want the stem to get a little paint on it so it'll yeah. look a little better. Yeah, don't forget your stems. Good good point. Don't forget your stems. Okay. All right, so now we're going to take our tweezers and flip it over. And remember where we wanted it. Do we remember where it was supposed to be on the glass? Yep, it's supposed to be right there. Okay, go ahead and flip it over. Take your tweezers. Carefully flip it. Okay, and then we're going to lay our, our tracing paper, tracing or you paper. can take wax paper. Yeah, and we're going to go ahead, and I'll just lay it down on it, and you go ahead and go for it. Start at the center and work your way out. Exactly. Good job making sure you get the veins and the, and the edges of your piece. Don't forget to get that little stem. Yeah, don't forget to get that little stem is right. All right, and then lift up your paper. And then use your tweezers to lift up. Lift it up gently. Yeah, you did a good job. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's the first one. Go. Now it's time for the fern. <clears throat> fern we're gonna kind of do from top to bottom yellow. To red so here is the red yellow if you want to start at the top I'll help you hold it go ahead you want to get it slow down yeah slow down you want to get a lot of paint on it because oh. if you miss something okay now we'll go to the orange okay. now we'll add some orange to it there you go Just pick it up once. Put it, push it down and pick it up once. Yeah, there we go. You can't, yeah, there we go. That's better. That's better. And all we're really doing is we're just tap, tap, tap. Let me just show you, Delaney. We're just kind of tap, tap, tapping it, like gently tapping it, not pushing it all the way down and mm. sucking it up. Okay. And I'm just going to go back up into the yellow a little bit with the orange. Because you want it to look Add better. Add some pretty. Okay. And now go for the red. I'll you want me to fill it up? I got it. You got it? Okay. And I'll hold it down. Yep, there we go. That's better. That's much better. So we don't want to push it all the way down and then just sucks the limb up as well, the leaf up. Good job. It looks like we need a little bit more paint over there. Like there's nothing on this bit right there. And like a little bit there. And come just a tidge up into the orange. <coughs> Okay, perfect. And I'm going to come a titch down into the, to the Ooh, red. that looks better. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to flip that over. Did you do the stem? No. Nope. You want to do the stem? I'll do the stem. Okay, add the stem in there real quick. Good job. Okay. Now, you're going to flip that over. It's harder once you've got some already down. Go ahead and flip it over. We're going to try and set it. You can do it, Dee. I'll help you. Try not to touch it. Just, there we go. And it goes heads this direction. Just oh. and drop it. Take out tracing paper. There we go. Tracing paper down. Okay. And let's press the start. You start at the top. I'll start at the bottom. We'll meet in the middle. You go from the inside out, see? You can see all the around my thing. You can see all my around the outside of the stem. And push down pretty hard. Just try not to smudge it, definitely. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Here we go. 
All right, pick it up. Whew. Lift straight up. Beautiful. Uh oh, Ooh. it's okay. It broke. It's fine. I'll take it. Got a little nice. bit. Nice. Okay. Looks beautiful. We can clean up that little bit after. We're gonna wipe up the. Look at how pretty the negative print is too. <laughs> that makes a pretty negative print. Okay, go ahead and wipe go it ahead down and wipe with it a down. wet paper towel. And definitely dry it once you're done, because mm -hmm. you don't want to get your leaf wet. Mm -hmm. You want to hand the other paper towel over there? Get the other paper towel, and we'll dry it. Now we're just going to continue on with the rest of our leaves. So we're done, and now we have to dry it with the heat gun. Yeah. Okay, now that the piece is wet, but we still want to, it's wet right now, but we want to dry it before we put it in the kiln because A14 is an organic, so we want to start helping it burn out, right? So the color will stay bright and bright, 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 okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm using a heat gun that I got at Ace. And I put it on low and I hold it higher up than, then I don't want to hold it very close to my piece or, or I'm going to cr crack the piece. Yeah, or it might also blow. No, it's just going to, it can crack the piece of glass. So when you want to move the piece of glass around because it's going to be hot. So um, anyway, so I'm going to start drying it now. Okay. Do not use a hair dryer while drying your thing. Use a heat gun. Okay, so you can see that where it's dry, it's not shiny anymore. And here it's still shiny. So just, I'm not holding the heat gun. You can see very close to the piece. Um, but you can see it starts, it's drying. You can see as the heat gun comes over it, it gets um, the shiny goes to like a matte finish. Can you see that right there? How beautiful that did. Okay, you can see it's drying there. Okay. And then sometimes the organic comes up from the bottom and you have to reheat it again. So, watch. See, I dried there already and it's a little wet again. Now we're going to put it in the kiln for a tap fuse. So we just got it out of the kiln and I think it looks fantastic. It does, it looks beautiful. And look at all the veins. You can still see some of the veins. It's really pretty. I love the colors too, it came out beautiful. So now the next thing we're gonna do is put it in the kiln on a fluoroformer and slump it. So tomorrow it'll be a vase. So 
See you then. Bye. Bye. Taco picture. You think it's ready? I think it's ready. So, our piece just came out of the kiln, and I love it so much. I think it's just so beautiful. It did With, come out beautiful, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I love With all, all the, the leaves. Cool leaf print. Yeah, it's gonna, make a, it's gonna make a, a great vase, or it can make a candle. So we can use it for a candle <coughs> holder or a vase for flowers. Um, the other thing you could do is instead of using leaf prints, you might think about using fruit or um, vegetables like okra, or if you don't like your vegetables, use them for print making. How about that instead? Um, and then, um, but just have fun with it. Mm -hmm. And also, if you want to learn a little bit more on mono printing, you can always buy Jody's book. She has a whole chapter on it. <laughs> so check out the link below and on Jody's book. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time.